you Google any skincare concerns, you're going to get overloaded with information. Thankfully, a resident beauty expert, Michelle Phillips, is back to de debunk some of the skincare myths that you're going to read about. This is so true, and it, me and you yeah. have just been like chatting. We away have been talking. We get, uh, I think started. we did the whole segment right before we started because these are these are really common questions. Yeah. So let's yeah. start with some of these misconceptions. We're yeah. starting with sunscreen. Yes. Correct. Yes. We have cooler months here uh -huh. around. You know, here in Florida. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't wear sunscreen. Okay. And a lot of people think that you should only wear sunscreen when you're out in the sun, mm -hmm. like laying out or outside doing activities, or um, only when it's sunny outside. Or like me, sometimes you go, well, I have so much makeup on, surely exactly. that's a barrier. And a lot of times if your makeup has an SPF in it, you're not exactly protected because you want, really want to have an SPF with UVA and UVB protection because sun is the number one cause of skin cancer. I know because I had pre-skin cancer this yep. year and I had to use that topical chemotherapy cream. Not fun. You don't want to do yeah. that. And secondly, um, it is the number one cause of premature aging as well. So what I suggest is you look for sunscreen products that are specifically created for your face and you can use it on your neck and your decollete and that so that way it's not feeling like mm -hmm. you know you are greasy heavy it's mm -hmm. it's a little bit lightweight and it's a moisturizer as well and okay. then of course on your body you can use the ones that are designed just for your body okay all now. right, now let's move to this. And I am such a huge fan of these, but I think yes. I have a feeling I was overusing them. Yes, yeah, so the myth is that you can use makeup wipes all the time to take your makeup off and your skin is fine. And there's lots of wipes out there that talk about anti-aging and then, you know, moisturizing and oil-free and all that stuff. Okay, so of course, most of the time at night, we are tired. We do not want to. I know, wear that's why I was <laughs> using them all the time. Sink. But what happens is when you don't really remove your makeup off properly, you're leaving chemicals on your skin because you're not rinsing your face. And this is, these are good for those nights, okay, when you're absolutely exhausted once in a while, okay, fine. Once or in for a the while. raccoon eyes and you got to get the excess makeup off from your eye makeup. But what I suggest is you find a cleanser that you really like to use. Okay. I use a makeup melt. Okay. And it's literally like an oil cream and it's good for like dry and oily skin or use something that is like really silky smooth on your skin to where when you put it on it feels luxurious. You can feel your skin getting clean but not stripped. So this not, is to take makeup off though. Just, and, and it also cleanses your face okay. at night and do doesn't strip it. Do you use a washcloth or do you just use your hands? You can use a washcloth with either one of these um, or your hands. So okay. either one. I sometimes use a washcloth just to make sure I get everything off. but. The, the, this key is make sure yeah, you don't everything. skip washing your face because that's when you're going to get breakouts and all kinds of issues with your skin okay. too. Now the next thing is, we were talking about this earlier, is a lot of people think that just because they have oily skin and it's it, humid here in Florida that we shouldn't be using a moisturizer because your skin feels oily yeah. and greasy. But that is the exact opposite of the truth. If you don't hydrate and moisturize your skin, what's going to happen is your skin is going to say, oh, I need to produce more oil to overcompensate. <laughs> so you're actually working against yourself. Okay. So what I suggest is, you know, use a lightweight moisturizer or at least use a serum that's hydrating or a vitamin C serum to at least give your skin that boost and find something that's lightweight and oil free. All right, we have about 30 seconds mm -hmm. left. What's okay. your last tip here? Exfoliating. Be very careful with using exfoliants every day or harsh products that have a lot of glycolic acid or salicylic acid in it because you over exfoliate your skin, your skin can become more sensitive and you can have more redness and more irritating, you know, irritants to your so skin. So what do you recommend? So use these products sparingly. If you start seeing that your skin is getting dried out or irritated, you know, exfoliate with an exfoliator that's like a granule, maybe two to three times a week, once or twice if you're sensitive. But if you're using products that already have glycolic and salicylic acid in them, those things are going to act normally. They're just going to exfoliate your skin in the process of using them. So you don't need an exfoliator okay. on top of it. Okay. And back off of it for a couple days if you're getting too irritated. Maybe just use those a couple times a week. Good to know. Lots of great info. I, I know. know. This yeah, the answer your question. We didn't even know it. Asking me all this <laughs> before we went on the air, and I was like, perfect segment for you. <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much. Thank it was lovely to hear you. Of course, we'll get more details on how you can find out more about Michelle on our website, too.